Hi there, my name is Yili Li, and I work as a data scientist at Cida. Today, I want to share with you all about our exciting new lighthouse project, the AI Digital Twin. So, at first, let's talk about what is a digital twin exactly. Thinking of it's like a virtual replica of a physical object, process, or service. It's like having a mimic me. That's made of data and can represent the real thing in the digital world. The digital twin includes all the important information, like the structure, behavior, and data of the physical system. It can also be used to model processes and service, giving us a better understanding of how they work in the real world. So why do we care about this? Well, by creating a digital twin, we can monitor the performance of the physical object in real time and predict any potential issue or future performance. This information can then be used to support decision making and even simulate process to understand the effect of different decisions. In short, the digital twin helps us understand the past, present, and even predict the future. But hold on. The digital twin is not simple a simulation of the real world. There are detailed, information-rich model of the real world. Simulations can be more generalized and abstract, while digital twin are designed to closely mimic the behavior of a specific physical system. And if we compare simulation to digital twin, we can say that simulations are static, while digital twin are dynamic. Simulations are only as good as the parameters and the design elements that are inputted. Once a digital twin is created, the parameters don't change unless the designer makes changes. But static model only gives us information about the specific design. If we want to look at different design, we have to start from scratch. And uh, for the digital twin, it starts off just like a simulation. But because it uses real-time data, it's constantly changing and、uh, adapting. It is actively looking for a way to improve the product through simulation. It can even simulate the entire product lifecycle over time, give designers information that simple simulation cannot provide. Have you ever heard of digital model, digital shadow, or digital twin? These are all terms used to describe a physical object in a digital format. Let's dive into the difference between these three. First up, we have the digital model. Think of it like a virtual replica of a real-world object. But there wasn't a direct connection between the digital and the physical world. Validation of the digital model required a lot of manual data transfer. For example. You create the digital model, build the physical prototype, test it, and、uh, you have to keep updating the digital model until you are happy with the result. It's very complex. And the next we have the digital shadow. It's where the sensors collect data from the physical object and、uh, send it gently to the relevant digital shadow. And it can then react to the incoming data and adjust these parameters to match any changes in the real world. It is a pretty cool process, but there is a catch: the accuracy of this prediction depends on the quality of the digital shadow and the amount of the data being collected. And unfortunately, there are some technical limitations that mean the digital shadow can't. Communicate with the physical object in real time, and finally we have the digital twin. This is more advanced concept where it's for automated data flow between the digital and the physical objects. Changes in the state of the physical object directly affect the digital object, and vice versa. The digital twin also emphasizes a bi-directional approach. Well, information flow not only from the digital asset to the physical world, but also back. This requires a clear definition of stakeholder needs and roles, making it the most complex and challenging situation. So there is the difference between a digital model, digital shadow, and digital twin. You see, 
without a curate model of the production system, we can't make the most of our digital twin. But with the help of simulation analysis, data accumulation, mining, and AI, we can make sure that digital model is a perfect match for the real physical system. And that is why we need AI digital twin. This is the key to making our manufacturing system smarter and more efficient. So let's embrace AI and digital twin, and then take our production to the next level. An AI digital twin uses artificial intelligence to learn and adapt over time, making it even more valuable as it gathers more data and experience. With real-time data from sensors and other sources, it can continuously update its model and make more accurate predictions. And what's the best part? AI makes sense of all the data, so it can identify trends, outliers, and、uh, help the decision making. It's like having a virtual advisor right there with you, constantly learn and evolving. This technology can also speed up the design process by providing a simulation environment where a designer can quickly test different ideas. And with a large amount of data, it can train AI and machine learning models to solve some of the challenges we are facing in our manufacturing systems. And don't forget about the data. With AI digital twin, we have access to massive amount of data. This data can be used to train AI models and deep neural networks, helping us solve problems and implement new applications. Thinking about it, if we have a good enough digital training that simulates most of the relevant aspect of our physical system, we can use that digital training to generate data, and that data can be used to train AI models. It's like a never-ending circle of improvement. So. Let's embrace the amazing technology and see what we can achieve when we combine AI and the digital twin. Okay, now that you understand what AI digital twin is, let me give you some real-life examples of where it's being used. You will see that the possibility are endless. First up, the healthcare. With AI digital twin, medical professionals can plan surgeries in a whole new way. By creating a 3D model of patient's body, they can simulate the surgery in a virtual environment and minimize the risk of the complications. And that's not all. AI digital twin can also be used for remote monitoring of patients with chronic conditions, with wearable device collecting data on vital signs and other health metrics. Healthcare professionals can track progress and catch potential problems early on. And last but not least, training and education is another area where AI digital twin can make a big impact. Medical students and、uh, healthcare professionals can now use virtual patients to simulate a wide range of medical scenarios, providing a realistic and safe environment for practice. The banking and the finance industry is also taking advantage of AI digital twin in multiple ways. When it comes to risk management, AI digital twin can create a virtual representation of a bank's portfolio of assets, allowing for simulations and a stress test to identify any potential risk or vulnerabilities. This proactive approach helps banks take measures to address these concerns, and more and more financial companies are starting to see the efficiencies of digital online process. And the power of AI digital technology to automate everyday tasks like funding checks, transfer checks, and police generation. This means that AI digital twin can play a big role in improving the financial and banking service infrastructure. We have already seen how it can revolutionize the healthcare and finance industries, but its potential doesn't stop here. Let me introduce you to the power of the AI digital twin in our lives, especially in the realm of smart cities. Let's start with building management and、uh, maintenance. With the digital twin, building managers can actually see how the heating, cooling, electrical, and pumping system will behave. 
This helps them catch and fix problems before they turn into real emergencies, and saves on maintenance costs too. When it comes to energy efficiencies, this AI digital twin is like a smart energy advisor. It analyzes data from sensors and the weather forecast to help optimize energy usage. Plus, it can even help building owners discover energy-saving opportunities by simulating different scenarios. And last but not least, traffic management. The AI digital twin uses real-time data from sensors and cameras to predict traffic flow and reduce congestion. No more sitting in traffic for hours on end. In conclusion, the AI digital twin can have a significant impact on the operations and management of our cities by creating a digital replica. We can optimize performance, reduce costs, and improve the overall sustainability and livability of our cities. But the AI digital twin is not without limitations. One major challenge is ensuring that the data used to create and update the digital twin is accurate and up to date, particularly in industries such as healthcare and manufacturing. Where data is often spread across different systems and may be inconsistent. Another limitation is that while digital twin technology can simulate and、uh, model different scenarios, it cannot replace actual physical testing. In many cases, physical testing is still necessary to validate the results of the simulations. And let's don't forget about. Integration, integration AI digital twin technology with existing system and、uh, process can be difficult, especially for organization that have legacy system that may not easily integrate with new technologies. With AI digital twin technology still being relatively new, different vendors and、uh, organizations may have different standards and、uh, protocols for. Creating and maintaining digital twin, and make it challenging to share and use digital twin across different system and organizations. The future is still bright for AI digital twins. Also, there are some limitations. We are seeing the technology rapidly advancing and make a big impact across industries. And that is why we are excited to bring you all the latest information on AI digital twins. So please stay tuned as we will provide you with a wealth of information on AI digital twins, the applications in different industries, and the technological and business considerations for developing AI digital twin in practice. And this is all for the presentation. Thanks for your listening. Bye, and see you in next video.